Excellente. All right, X-Ray Ed, back with you once again with another informative and exciting episode of X-Ray Education. As usual, my partner Boney is with me right here. And so today what we're going to be doing is demonstrating the correct positioning for upright abdomen X-rays. We're also going to do flat abdomen X-rays. We'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, but first, okay, whenever we've got a patient that comes into the department, we want to go ahead and do the upright abdomen first. Reason being, this person's been sitting, they probably didn't come in laying down or, you know, whatever. They're sitting up either in a wheelchair or they're just walking and talking. So we're going to bring this guy in. We want to go ahead and do our upright first because if there's any air fluid levels to be seen, any air will be percolated up underneath the diaphragms. We'll go ahead and spot it right away. Okay, so, all right, Boney, if you wouldn't mind, let me get you to stand with your back to this image receptor. All right, centering. As usual, we're centering along the midline, which with Boney here is easy. I can see his spine. What if I can't see Boney's spine? Well, I can maybe palpate for his sternum. I can find the jugular notch. If I can't palpate anything, I can at least see his neck. Okay, so I'm just going to aim for the center of the patient's neck. That's going to give me my midline. Try to make sure that they're not rotated one way or the other. Okay, now then, I find it helps if I take a knee, get down, and feel for the patient's iliac crests. All right, on some patients that are fluffy, it might be kind of hard to find that, but eventually we'll find it. Okay, you can find the ASIS. Follow the ASIS around until you find the top of the crest, okay? We're going to go about two inches above the top of that crest. So on me, three fingers will do it. Um, three fingers is almost exactly two inches. You might want to measure your own hand. You don't always have a ruler with you. You do always have your fingers. Okay, so what I'm going to do, find the crest, go about three finger widths above. There we go. Okay, now Boney here is a skinny patient, so I've got my film in lengthwise. And I'm going to put a left marker on right down here. I don't want to put my marker close to the top because it could obscure the uh, diaphragm. We don't, want to, we don't want to block out any of the diaphragm because that's one of the primary things that the radiologist needs to see. Okay, so here we go. Three fingers above, and then I'm going to bring my central ray in, and I'm going to be aiming right at Boney's midline. All right, thank you very much. One of my students is kind enough to hand me the tube. So we're just going to bring this guy around, just like this. All right, we may need to reposition our camera, because all of a sudden we can't see too much, can we? Now, the book says use a 40-inch SID for this. All right, bring the camera on around, Miss Student. Excellent. We want to be able to see our aiming point. Sorry about that, Boney. I just put that light right in your eyes, didn't I? Okay. Now, the book says 40-inch SID. Personally, I use a 50-inch SID or even a 72-inch SID. That's going to get rid of a lot of magnification. So your clinical preceptor will tell you what is acceptable at that particular site. But if anybody asks you on a test question, it's 40-inch SID. So here we go. And we're just going to come down to film size, which my PBL has already handled for me. Now, I want to do this on expiration. All right, Boney, take in a big, deep breath. Blow it all the way out. Hold it out and hold still. Beep. Okay, you can relax and breathe normally. All right, so if, uh, oh, one more thing. If the top of my light field is approximately at the level of the patient's axilla, then I know I'm probably pretty well positioned for this x-ray. Um, and if your patient is wide, you might want to do two x-rays. One crosswise to get the diaphragms, and then another one crosswise to get the inferior anatomy. All right, so thank you all very much. I appreciate your joining us for this quick and dirty little uh, lesson on upright abdomen. And we'll be back with you a little bit later for more. Hey. So one more time. All right, so we've already done our upright abdomen. Now we're going to do our supine. So what we're going to need to do, we've got our patient laying on the table. We've got an image receptor in. We've got our marker down low, and we've got our right marker on, just in case something goes awry. If this thing falls off on this side, it'll be easier to grab. 
Marker down low, that's going to put the marker in the femurs. We don't really care. We just don't want the marker to be in our abdominal anatomy. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to palpate my patient, and I'm going to find their iliac crest. Okay, so right there goes the crest. Okay, so right here is where my central ray is going to be. And I'm going to bring this guy over. All right, fantastic. Now I'm in detent. Now if I need to, I can go to the head of the table, and I can look and make sure that I really am lined up on the mid-sagittal plane. And it looks like I mostly am. Okay, so I'm just going to move her just a skosh. Okay, super. All right, so with this setup here, I'm going to include hopefully the diaphragms and the symphysis. And I'm at a, well, 45 inch SID. I'm supposed to be at a 40 inch SID. So let's bring this guy on down. Now, this is by the book. If your facility allows you to use like a 50 inch SID, that's totally permissible. All right, so here we go. Now, I just need to give my patient some shielding. I can't shield the abdominal area. I can't shield the gonads, but I can shield the thyroid. Remember, a female's thyroid is about four times as sensitive as a male's. The other thing I can do for this young lady, because she is very young, is I can shield her breasts. I just want to make sure that my lead shield is not anywhere in the light field. Okay, so now we're good to go. Okay, ma'am, if you would, take in a big deep breath for me, blow it all the way out, hold it out, and hold still. Beep! All right, super. You can relax and breathe normally. Okay, so that basically does it for two view abdomen. We're gonna take one image upright, one image supine, and hopefully we've got all our anatomy on there and we don't have to go back and do any additional imaging. All right, so once again, for x-ray education, this is x-ray Ed. Have a great day. Take some x-rays. Take good care of your patients, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.